Hey guys, welcome back to so this week's movie Star Wars Episode 5 continues with the adventure of the hero and it also uh, reveals more about the power of the force. So the forces of good are in the ice planet when they face an attack by the Empire. Um, Han and Princess Leia manage to escape but Luke goes on a quest to find Yoda as the product of a vision he had of Obi-Wan Kenobi telling him to find um, this guide that's gonna help him become a Jedi. Um, after that, um, he finds Yoda and then he starts his Jedi training. Uh, but he can't complete it because he has a vision of Han and the princess being in danger. So he goes to uh, rescue his friends when in the process he needs to face the, the dark side of the force. Once again, an element of myth present in the movie is the idea of the force that binds the galaxy together. And it's divided into the good force and the forces of darkness and evil. Um, but we also learn in this movie um, the importance of controlling this force and the importance of being patient and the importance of feeling the force and actually working with it. Once again, this movie is a representation of the adventure of the hero and it starts with a departure stage where um, the call of adventure um, begins when Obi-Wan Kenobi's spirit tells Luke to go find Yoda. So that's the beginning of the quest. Um, after that, we also have the refusal of the call. That's when Luke is being trained by Yoda and he can't get the spaceship out of the water. And he tells Yoda that he's asking for the impossible. So he doesn't believe in himself. He doesn't believe that he can't do it. Um, we also have a wise guide or um, a supernatural aid. In this case, we have Yoda and we also have Obi-Wan spirit. Um, helping Luke become a Jedi. So under the departure stage, we also have the first threshold. And this is the part when the hero escapes the ice planet and goes um, on a quest, escaping um, the attack from the Empire. Uh, we also have the belly of the whale. Uh, this is the part when Han puts Luke inside the dead animal's body to keep him warm at the beginning of the movie. And this also symbolizes rebirth. There's another, another way to look at it. Um, another example of these is when Han and Princess Leia are inside the asteroid's creature's belly. So next we have the initiation stage, which is identified by a series of trials. Uh, for example, we have the training with Yoda. Uh, we have the battle in the cave, which is a type of warning telling uh, Luke to control his anger or otherwise he will end up like Vader himself. Um, and we also have the, the actual battle uh, with Vader in the Cloud City. Um, there is also a meeting with the goddess, which is when Luke goes um, to rescue Princess Leia again. And there is an atonement with Father, which is when Luke learns that Vader is his father and that um, and Vader wants to bring Luke to the dark side of the force. So the last stage of the hero's journey is the return. And this stage is identified by a magic flight. And we can say that this magic flight is when uh, Princess Leia and Luke are escaping the Cloud City. Um, there is also a help from without. That's when Luke is hanging upside down. Um, in the air vent and he's calling Princess Leia for help and she returns and she rescues him. Um, we also have the actual return to reality. That's when they escape um, and leave the galaxy. So another element of myth is good versus evil. And in this movie, they present evil as a superior force. For example, Vader seems superior to Luke, both in skills and in power. And the good force, um, is constantly being in danger throughout the movie because the temptation of choosing the dark path is uh, a key theme uh, in the movie. Um, Vader wants to get Luke into the dark side and that's his objective throughout the movie to, to bring Luke to, to join forces with him and to conquer the galaxy. Uh, we can see that a ritual is a connection to the divine force in all of us. 
Um, and this is kind of what Yoda teaches Luke in his training to connect and to feel the force. So another element of ritual is the purification of the self. And Yoda tells Luke to be patient and to concentrate and to meditate in order to see visions of the future. And what he's doing is that he's trying to get Luke in the right state of mind, which is an important step when performing a ritual or when trying to achieve something. So an element of filmmaking is the foreshadowing we see when Luke is in the cave, imagining that he's fighting Vader. And when he cuts his head off, he sees Vader's face transforming into his face. So this is a foreshadow that Vader desires to bring Luke into the dark side of the Force. Um, overall, I really enjoyed watching the movie, especially because the advices that Yoda gives Luke can be applied to our everyday life. You know, to concentrate, to be patient, to control, and to feel the force, and especially um, the self-confidence that will help us achieve all of our dreams. Um, this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye!